What is up y'all? Today we are somewhere that I have wanted to come back to for so so long. We've actually fished here one time before, it was like years ago. But this is I think statistically, mathematically, the world's longest fishing pier. I'm not exactly sure how many miles this is, but as you guys can see, it's absolutely loaded with people today. It goes on that way, there's actually a little bait shop. From my knowledge, this is actually pretty cool. This was an old bridge, and they just decided, instead of like knocking it down, they turned it into a fishing pier. So today, we're out here, we're gonna have a little fun. We got the rig out here. We got Kelsey out here. So we stopped at the little bait shop down there, super uh, pricey. But let me show you what we picked up. Shout out to the cheese. So we got a bucket. We actually paid for the bucket. I freaking $5.99, I didn't know it was that expensive. See, the problem is, I don't really go to like bait shops and get bait that much, but then when I do, the bait that's in the bucket it gets all nasty and then I throw the bucket away and I have to keep buying new buckets. But in the bucket, boom, look at those dudes right there. We got some live shrimp. They look pretty thick too. These dudes uh, do not last very long. Oh yeah, no, they're still alive. So we're gonna put these dudes in the shade, try to uh, prolong their life longevity. Let's put them uh, right over here. It's a toasty one in here today though. So the objective here today is to have fun, hopefully catch some fish, a fish. Again, we're in Florida and this is salt water in Florida, like you literally never know. Like there's so many different species, you never know what you can catch. I'm gonna show you guys my setup, but my plan here is to hopefully catch some smaller fish with the shrimp. Uh, I'll show you how we're kind of gonna do that. And then with those smaller fish, hopefully we can catch some big old fish. I just said, we're, we're in freaking Florida. Tarpon, giant snook, big group, like gag grouper apparently are like really common under this bridge. Super hard fighting fish that I've never caught before. I don't know if you can eat them right now either or not, but hopefully, I mean, maybe we get something to eat, I don't know. We're just gonna have some fun here today though. Hopefully shrimp to small fish to big fish, the freaking giant Gyarados. I don't know. All I know is I'm excited. We're gonna have a fun day. You think we're gonna get some big fish? The biggest. You heard it here first. All right, let's get started, dude. All right, so first thing we're gonna be doing, I have this Sabiki rig. These things are always, I, I, somehow I always tangle these. Ooh, all right, dude, let's tell you, it's a little toasty out here. So we have this loose inshore speed stick you guys have been seeing me use in the videos. And on here, we just put that little Sabiki rig and on the bottom, I'm not exactly sure how strong this current is right now, but we have a two ounce pyramid sinker um hopefully it's not too snaggy but pretty much what i'm gonna do first before i even touch any of this shrimp so this is actually uh oh my gosh that pelican can you guys see that i don't know what the heck that was but these sabikis are actually supposed to look like little fish drop that down there if we put it right in front of something sometimes you don't really even need to put bait on but i, I really don't know man this is the second time i ever fished here i'm just a dude from delaware man maybe let's see drop it down to the bottom Hopefully we don't get snagged. First cast. Come on, anybody down here? I'm looking for some kind of something, like a small little pinfish, pigfish. It's really anything that we could use to hopefully catch a bigger fish. Please definitely down in the comments below, let me know if I'm doing this right. I literally don't freaking know what I'm doing. There's so many people here though. I'm just looking around and I don't see anybody else making a dance. All right, one more time. All the way down. I'm like really gonna bop this one around. I've used this technique a couple times in videos. Like, oh my gosh, look at that big thing of grass down there. Oh, do I have fish? Dude, I think I have fish. Oh my god. Kelsey, I got two little bait fish. Oh my god, what are these? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh no. Get it. Don't, 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 don't. Come back. What the freak are you? I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna look it up real quick. Holy crap, holy crap. Put them in the bucket. Can't open the bucket. Okay fish are in the bucket i need to get a big rig on those fish are gonna catch me a freaking monster fish. i was just not twitching it enough that's gotta be what it was Whew. all right y'all we got rigged up here where's those fish at oh gosh hello oh my god look at the size of that shrimp kelsey look at the size of that shrimp that is insane i think these are greenbacks they don't look very uh alive now okay well at least maybe we know how to catch those yeah it literally took me five minutes to set that other rig up but what happens when you're not prepared with a bubbler all right so this is what i was doing man i was just freaking i don't know if those fish were just swimming through or if they're all around down here i think those are called greenbacks am i right oh i got something oh i got something what is that? I think it's another one. Okay, that is perfect. If it can get up. Don't even need to use the shrimp. Dude, this is like perfect bait size too. Okay, chill, 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 chill. chill. This thing's gonna catch us a monster. Okay. So on this rig, we have fluorocarbon leader. I don't even need to cast it out that far. I think the current's going enough. But I believe this is 50 pound 
braid. This is like a big rig setup right here. Super heavy rod. I, I don't even think I ever showed you guys this rod before. This is one that I bought for pretty much bridge fishing like this like years ago. It's really the only thing I have that's like this that I can use. We're just gonna let this line take this dude out. The thing about this kind of fishing is that last time I was here, I thought that like you had to put these guys down Oh yeah, he's out there, out there, all right. Basically, I thought you needed to wait to kind of like keep these guys towards the bottom near, you know, where something would eat. Turns out that if you do that, like, I guess the current is just gonna spin the fish all around and probably just destroy it. And I mean, it just does not look natural whatsoever. So apparently the way to do this to catch these big fish here, I don't really know because I've never freaking done it. But I guess you just put him on a hook, live lined. And I mean, I could feel him down there. He's, he's moving around. I catch one of these goopers, man. That is going to be insane. I've always wanted to do that for a bridge. I mean, I guess what they do is uh, hide out in these rocks and this structure. And apparently they're just super crazy hard fighters. Like once they take your bait, they'll just take you right back into them rocks. Oh man, I don't know. I just have a good feeling about this now. Oh, is that the, is that the bait or is that a fish? Okay, man, I'm super new to this kind of fishing. Like this is one of the first times really I've ever done this, so. I, I just kind of picked the spot here that looked good. I mean, there's a bunch of people to my left and right. We're gonna turn the bait runner mode on. Make sure that line can move. All right, so while that's kind of bopping around, I don't know if he's near the surface again or not. I think we gotta get, uh, at least try to get something a little bit more meaty and uh, stay alivable. Well, I got something. What is that? Is that the same thing? Or oh, it came off. There's something. Is it, if it's the same thing, I think I'm gonna put shrimp on. Is it? Oh, it came off as well. What the heck? I'm just smacking my sabiki. Oh gosh, what the heck is this? Um, I got something on my sabiki. What the heck is this? Uh, <laughs> Kelsey? Oh my God, oh my God, I got Spanish mackerel. Whoa, hurry, don't Can you grab that? Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, dude, what the heck? On a sabiki, what the freaking heck? Oh my gosh, dude, this is what I'm talking about, Florida, man. You never know what you can catch. I was catching these, off, remember, off the beach in Delaware. Yeah. All right, y'all, take a look at this. I know my hand's in the way, but that is a freaking beautiful Spanish mackerel. I actually have a catch and cook of these on my channel if you guys want to see. I'll put that uh, on the screen right here, but just an insane looking fish and just those teeth. These are pelagic fish. I just want to get them back in because they're supposed to just keep on swimming, but yeah, man, crazy fish. Thank you for biting, buddy. That was so cool. Goes right back down on the sabiki. That's a, dude, that's a surprise catch. Like, on a sabiki, too. Hopefully, if there's one, there's more. They usually school up. It'd be cool to see, like, a little blitz or something. But yeah, I'm gonna get back down there. Um, yeah, hopefully <laughs> we can catch some more stuff. That's freaking awesome. Oh, my gosh. Once he hit, it started pulling drag. I was like, that is definitely not one of the smaller fish we've been catching. Already a successful day, dude. Those things are some of my, like, honestly, favorite fish in the whole world to catch. And just, like, the fact that we caught them in Delaware, now, like, in Florida, off crazy bridge. That thing is bopping. Surprised nothing's biting that. Live bait we got in there. All right, I'm super excited about this. I'm gonna show you guys something really cool. So imagine you're fishing a giant bridge like this that's miles long and there's another, hello? There's another bridge over there that's super long. Or you're out on a boat with no electronics or a kayak with no electronics that'll like tell you exactly where you are. You can mark location. Or if you wanna know the time, your altitude, so many different other things I'll tell you guys this thing. I'm excited to announce, man, this video is officially sponsored by ProTrek by Casio. Look at this packaging. Ooh. So this dude right here is the Pro Trek. Let me let me, let me put it on. Real Basically, quick. this thing is like a fishing watch. With Bluetooth, you can connect this thing to your smartphone. There's a free Pro Trek app in the App Store. It's available for iPhone, and Android. I'll just read off real quick. This thing has a step tracker, altimeter, barometer, compass, 
thermometer, useful fishing features. Let me show you this. So there's worldwide fishing point locations that tells you a lot of details about different fisheries, but also you can create your own. There's a fishing timer, fishing alarm, tide graph, moon data, sunrise, sunset times. It tells you the day of the week, which sometimes I have trouble remembering. And it's like a normal watch. You can tell the time and everything. Shout out again, man. I'll have a link in the description. If you want to show them some love, it's really awesome when like a company that has really cool products, supports the channel. So if we could go support them, that would mean a lot. But listen to this, man. There's a location indicator. So Sam, we're right here. I just catch a giant fish. With the location indicator, I can register this point. If you want to get back to this spot, the watch will show you the direction and distance. That's like so freaking cool, man. If you're on a boat, on a kayak, on a giant pier, like this to be able to go where you know the fish were at one point shout out again to them link in the description i mean it's pretty snazzy dude look at this all right let's try walk down this way a little bit see if there's anything going on definitely let me know down in the comments below if you guys have fished here or i mean you know if even if you haven't what would you be throwing here i originally planned i mean to put some of that shrimp on here but these sabikis i mean oh that's another one it's gotta be kelsey I think I got another one. Come here. Come here, boy. Oh my gosh. Is that? Oh, this is so freaking sick. Oh. Holy crap. Oh gosh. All right, y'all. Look at these freaking dudes right there. Some of the coolest markings. Some of the coolest fish I've ever caught. Let's let him back in there. That's so freaking sick. One objective I, I really would love to do today though. I mean, this is freaking awesome, but I, I really want to catch a grouper, dude. All right, pains me to do this. Oh, what the heck? We actually lost the sabiki down here. Oh, we lost two. What in the heck? We only have three left. Kelsey's reading over there. Are you reading a good book? <laughs> yeah. Not a bad day out here with this nice sunshine. I think we're going to take one of these dudes. Oh, my hands are so scaly. Then we're just going to take tiny little pieces of shrimp and put it on the sabikis. I think I might need to put another sabiki on, man. I feel like I probably got bit off by some of those some crazy dudes and Spanish mackerel. Okay, there's not even a hook on this one. I have two hooks. Let's see though, two hooks, two pieces of bait, dropping down, come on, pinfish. All right, let me show you guys this real quick. I literally just dropped this down on my GoPro died. Super, super pretty fish. This is a pinfish. This is exactly, okay, what I was looking for. They're called pinfish. I don't know if this is why they're called pinfish, but they're very, Pointy everywhere. Stab the crap out. Yo, what the? Look at that long neck. <laughs> Freak, are you doing, my guy? Let me get this dude on the hook, though. I'm just gonna go through the mouth. I don't know the best way um, you Florida people do it. Look at how freaking beautiful. Let me cast that dude out and just let him go down. I believe these are a little bit more resilient as well. But what I've been told, as far as snook, as far as, I mean, really any kind of bigger predatory species of fish in Florida, if you got a live pinfish, you catch a freaking monster. I got a good feel about this, man. My big camera side, as I was talking to it, my GoPro died when I was trying to do something. We got the pinfish out live line under this. That's crazy. That's exactly what I was trying to freaking do, dude. All we needed is a pinfish and a dream. So now we just have to wait. I literally had two hooks on, two pieces of shrimp, and drop first drop pinfish. I don't know if the other fish we had on, I, I one could be better. I don't know, we're just letting the tide take this under. Hopefully it gets swept to the land of the big bridge Bertha. How crazy is that though that like we probably put the sabiki right in front of a bunch of different fish. Maybe like there's pinfish and other stuff. But they only want it when they got they got some shrimp on, man. It's crazy. Oh I'm getting a bit more on the shrimp. Oh what do we got? What do we got? Is that a, oh, it's one of the, what the heck? These things must be down there thick. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, what the heck? Oh, that's what we need right there. That is the one. What the freak are you doing, my guy? All right, we're cool here. We're cool. Let's just all relax. No, we're a little pointy and sharp. You stay away, my guy. All right, we're gonna do a little something different on this one. Back of the back. I just want him to go right under the bridge pilings right there. Not sure how deep it is, but I'll say this is probably good right there. Something eats this. It's gonna. It's gonna be freaking crazy.
So here's a little update, the tides have changed. So we're actually going out this way. It's kind of confusing because like it looks like it's still coming this way, but the wind's blowing this way, but the tide's going that way. So apparently I was looking on the internet on how to kind of do this for grouper and stuff. There's a north and a south pier. When the tide is going out this way, that's when you want to fish like out this way, I think. I don't freak it out. So we got a live pin fish out here. I'm going to let a little bit more line out. Something like that. I mean, you got to fish. Look, look at this right here. Just straight bloody massacre. That's how you know you're in a good fishing spot, especially where there's sunflower seeds down there. Is that bouncing or is that the wind? Hello? So Kelsey actually got some snacks out of the car. Shout out to Kelsey. I feel so much better now. I'm ready. We're gonna smash a gag grouper or some kind of grouper. I'll just pull a freaking Goliath up over here. You wanna know this well?